I am Reverend Marjorie Linton, Minister of Religion, author, spiritual advisor, and motivational speaker with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today, where I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and lift your vision higher. Good afternoon. The magic is you, is the healing thought today. And the new year has arrived. Praise the Lord. Many of us were counting down, anxious for the ending of 2022, and looking forward to 2023. Hopeful that by some magic, the new year will bring our heart's desire financial stability, improved health, good companionship, good relationships, and of course, new opportunities. The truth is my friends, as long as we are physically alive, there will be difficulties to face. The new year will not automatically shift gear, but we can, the magic is you. We may not be able to change adversity on the outside, but we do have control over how we respond to adversity. All it takes is a change in thinking. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. As long as we are alive, there will be circumstances to shake our faith. When the road gets rough, do what you can, then turn it over to God and pray. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Another thing to do is to work on your belief system, my friends. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say unto you, Whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall receive them. When you truly believe something, my friends, worry should never enter the picture. Even if what you pray for does not materialize, you know something better will. Amen. The goodness of God is from everlasting to everlasting, and no good thing does he withhold from you. Just release all doubts, all fear and anxiety, and know that you are God's beloved, blessed beyond measure. All you desire is within you, my friends. It is up to you to believe you can achieve. Up to you to practice the truth. And up to you to make it happen. Remember the Bible tells us, it is done unto you according to your faith. Amen. So dear friends, Just you know your good awaits you, whether it is for better health, improved finances, right companionship, meaningful relationships, or peace and joy in the Lord. It is all within your reach. Just persevere, believe with all your heart and it will come to pass. We just don't know how, when, or why, but we know that God within us is reliable. 
The Bible says in Numbers 23, verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. Years ago, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Yates owned a huge sheep rearing field in Texas, United States. Unfortunately, the Great Depression hit the world and Mr. Yates struggled to take care of his bills and his family. In fact, he almost lost his property. Things were so bad that he had to go on government subsidy. Then one day things changed drastically for Mr. Yates. The people from the oil company came to check the land for oil and it was discovered that Mr. Yates' land had an input of thousands of gallons of oil. When he had purchased the land, he had signed an agreement that he had full rights to the property. So Mr. Yates, who lived like a pauper, was instantly turned into a millionaire. Amen. Many of us wish we would strike gold like Mr. Yates. But the fact is, we already have a gold mine full of spiritual resources right within us. We are equipped to meet any hardships, my friends. We are made with a built-in mechanism to survive the storms of life. It is called the Christ presence within us. Amen. When the disciples asked Jesus about the kingdom of God, Jesus said in Luke 17, 20 to 21, the kingdom of God comes not with observation, neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. In order to find it, however, we have to remove the doubts that surface in our minds and believe in our God-given potential. In the book of Genesis, Abraham displayed faith in his divine potential when, on parting with Lot, he allowed Lot to have the more fertile land. He had no fear of lack or limitation. So as a reward, God told Abraham, lift up now thine eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land which thou seest to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. Amen. Beloved friends, the first thing to do to combat adversity when it strikes is to go to God in prayer. God is our only true source. When we focus our attention on Him and not on our problems, we somehow get to see the bigger picture. We sometimes discover hidden talents and abilities we never knew we had. With God, all things are possible, but we must believe, do what we can to help ourselves, and God will do the rest for us. The next thing to do, my dear friends, is to start with what you have. Everyone has a talent or a gift. You may be looking outside for help when your good is available right within your doors. You may uncover skills or talents you never thought you had. Just know, my friends, that God is everywhere, equally present, and Jesus promised that he came, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Last but not least, my friends, is to be thankful for what you have. 
even though it may not seem enough. Bless it and be thankful nevertheless. There is no work, no talent, no position, no skill so humble that it cannot be the starting point of the prosperity that God wants you to have. He says, I will lead the blind by a way they know not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. Beloved friends, the key to unlock the door to our prosperity is within your reach. It is within you. You are the magic. Just turn within and through prayer and meditation, you will discover your abundant good waiting for you. Amen. And now, beloved friends, let us look at some points for contemplation. As long as we are physically alive, there will be difficulties to face. We may not be able to change adversity on the outside, but we do have control over how we respond to adversity with just a change of thinking. When you truly believe something, worry should not enter the picture even if what you pray for does not materialize, something better will. The goodness of God is from everlasting to everlasting, and no good thing does He withhold from us. All you desire is already within you. It is all up to you to believe. Your good awaits you. It is all within your reach. In order to find the kingdom of God, we must remove doubts from our minds. We have a gold mine full of spiritual resources right within us. We are equipped to meet any hardship with the Christ presence within us. God is our only true source. The first thing to do to combat adversity is to go to God in prayer. Focus on what you have and be thankful for what you have. Amen. And now, beloved friends, it is now time for the call to action. Remember, there is an answer to every prayer. The answer you seek is within your subconscious mind, the mind of God within you. Before you call, God answers. And while you yet speak, God hears. Take a few deep breaths now and reflect on what you are praying about. Now, Relax your body and concentrate on a point of light deep within your mind. You are now in the secret place of the Most High God. Rest quietly now in this awareness. Feel God's power and presence within you. Ask whatever you will and know that it will be done unto you. It may be a condition, a financial need, or perhaps healing for yourself. 
Remember the Christ within you is the light which dissolves all darkness. All that the Father have is yours. With a feeling of gratitude, you are now calm, centered, and poised in the Christ mind. Thank you, God. Amen. Beloved friends, sharing the word of God with you today was a joy unequaled. May the Lord continue to bless and keep you, and may his light shine upon you throughout the entire year and beyond. God bless you. Please subscribe. Thank you.